Hello friend, I am Alex as a technical advisor in online show company. So today as I am talking about the CentOS web panel. So why we require CentOS web panel and its attribute and functionality today I am talking. So before installing I have to go to the my server console. Okay, this is my server. So before installing any of the packages need I have to check my IP. This is my IP address and now I check my host name. This is my host name of server cloudcentos.com. Okay. Furthermore, I have to enter this file in my host entry. So I type echo. Uh, this is my IP address copy here and put here. And this is the host name copy and put here. Okay. I have to uh, going to with this add add this entry in etc host file. So this uh, host name is associated with IP. This like is the primary step of RDNS configuration. Okay, I have check the same entry in etc sysconfig network file because uh, two uh, file uh, has been associated with host name entry. First of all, etc host and second one things etc sysconfig and network file. Okay, I enter the same things and etc and sysconfig. So wait, just I type wrong. Sysconfig and network oh this is the wrong ok now straight down ok i have type the yum update command before installing any package this will take uh, some time oh so i pause the video moment so I come back it is install again so before installing uh, CentOS web panel I download the script of CentOS web panel and uh, execute here so before installing I uh, download the package yum update wget I type enter here or oh, this is the by default install when the I yum update command is basic package install here so I download the best script of CentOS web panel CentOS web panel dot com slash CWP hyphen latest oh this is the unable address I type wrong just wait hold down one minute ok I this is the documentation I copy this line here and the paste here because I type the wrong way so this is the install here so I have executed this script here with sh and cwp hyphen latest here so this is the install all the package and its dependencies functionality and all the related package of web server so at that moment I have paused the video okay this is all the install and there is this some credential is given here for my server so I have copied this credential here so I copy the URL from the test box and paste here in my browser file ok this is the admin panel is open here so I type in the different web server of browser so just wait ok this is the my uh, CentOS web panel I'll type the password root and the username password here and log into the server so this panel is the same as WHM panel plus panel and so more panel and used to controlling and managing all the activity li uh, just like a web server and its associate tool so different different option I can see here Apache setting PHP setting and user account domain and so more option as well as the WHM panel but this panel is not require any license feature so there is the service status uh, with service stop status running and so more things we can download the plugin and install on the server and this is the package we can manage package on our according and and provide to the client so wait ok this is the CPW this is the client panel option and we can add here domain name this is the domain name and uh, file email account and what what configuration we want to give to the uh, client this is the as a cpanel 
this is the cPanel just like a WHM panel and uh, this is the terminal where we can manage all the activity like the console this is the command line attribute so we can manage all the things on the command line so on just like this uh, so please like this video share this video if need more video please comment here so thanks for watching